Hi everybody. So lots of people are raising concerns about the changes that have happened with their phones with Google and Apple now taking on the test and trace app. Just to let you know that this is a natural update that's happened. So many people may have noticed on their iPhone or on the Google phone, like I'm about to show you that they've noticed these changes. If you go into settings and then go all the way down to Google services and preferences, tap on that, you will now see that there's this new tab that says COVID-19 exposures and notifications. If you click on it, this doesn't mean that you've downloaded the app, but it does mean that you've had the service upgrade that allows the apps that then, if they are downloaded onto your phone, to work. As it says, to turn on the COVID-19 exposure notifications, install or finish setting up a participating app. So if you haven't downloaded the app, it shouldn't work. I emphasize shouldn't, that's what my understanding of it. But I thought I'd just share this to help settle down some of the confusion and questions that are going on about unnecessarily downloading apps onto your phone. This is kind of no different to the standard kind of service updates you see in many kind of situations when applications and things are changed to make them ready for upcoming changes like updates when it comes to changes with iOS or Google. Hope that's useful and helpful. Always here to try and help. Catch you later.